One of the rarest of human attributes is an open mind, to innovate for a better future. We live in one of the greatest times in history, given our social media influence. But how can we actively shape the future of health and sustainability? How can we positively influence one another to improve our health, lifestyle, and longevity of us and our planet? One of the biggest mistakes that we're making is separating ourselves from our planet, nature. And if we continue to do so, the future of humankind will cease to exist. I studied psychology in the United States as well as in Austria. I also went to the Chestnut Herbal School of Herbal Medicine, learning how to make medicines from different plants in nature. I've spent the majority of my life eating vegan, and health and sustainability, as well as music, has always been my professional and personal passion. But it wasn't until a couple of years ago that I realized how important it is to truly understand what's going on within our bodies. I realized how much we really needed to innovate our culture and personalize our health care in order to take charge and prevent diseases. In 2015, a small bump on my right arm that seemed harmless was painful to touch. After a couple of days, I was irritated, but irritated enough to go to the hospital. After the doctors did a checkup, I, they showed that I had developed 14 blood clots in my right arm. I was in disbelief that something so life-threatening could affect me with no previous indications. I immediately began the treatment to dissolve the blood clots, known as thrombosis. And meanwhile, something else happened. I began having sleepless nights, waking up and seeing many different colors. After undergoing an additional brain scan, the doctors told me that I had one blood clot in my brain. Fortunately, it had already begun dissolving and didn't constitute any further health risk. With the clots in my arms, the doctors needed to perform a surgery. They needed to restore my collapsed vein and restore proper blood flow by removing my rib. Six to seven doctors surrounding me as I lay on a metal table, being rolled onto the surgical room. The doctor injected a substance into this tube and asked me to count down from 10 to 1. So I began counting down from 10. Is that a substance that I taste in my mouth? I thought to myself. Nine. My heart started beating. I was afraid. I wanted to leave. I didn't know what else to do. Eight. Wait, wait, wait. I changed my... And everything went dark. What was hours seemed like seconds to me. My eyes had opened with a slight blur as quick as they had shut. When I felt the heavy pressure on my right shoulder from the surgery, I knew that I was still alive, so I was fine. But the doctor still had no real explanation of what caused the blood clots. And then it hit me. I had been eating vegan for over 10 years, but my vegan eating habits had changed, which affected my gut bacteria, the biodiversity within the microbiome, which plays a significant role in the health of our immune systems. Our bodies host more than 40 trillion different microorganisms, life forms that make us who we are. While our DNA may be 99.9% .9 the same, our gut microbiome can be 100% different from one another. Microbes are responsible for almost everything living, everything that's living on the planet. And the Earth thrives on microbiome biodiversity. It's necessary for life. Microbes are responsible for the carbon cycle, which control the climate, uh, climate in the atmosphere 
They put enough oxygen in the atmosphere so that humans could evolve. They're also responsible for controlling all major nutrients to the planet. As humans, we depend on a vast army of microbes to stay alive. Microbes break down. They break down the food to release energy and also produce nutrients for us. The picture starts to become very clear for me. Literally, everything and everyone is connected. The key to solving two of the biggest global problems, human health and our Earth's sustainability, lies in understanding the microbiome: human, animal, and environmental. Connecting our microbial ecosystems together. The way we eat today, we're polluting our planet, and we're polluting our bodies. As we see biodiversity decrease on our planet, we're seeing the same thing happen within our guts. The food ecosystems are being destroyed by pesticides, and we're also destroying our bodies' internal biodiversity with unsustainable food choices and antibiotics. Both ecosystems, human. And the Earth need more microbiodiversity in order to recycle nutrients and sustain themselves, so we can fully recover together and thrive. There's a huge problem. Looking deeper into the food industry, we discovered evidence that our diets are the largest cause of climate change and biodiversity loss. The global food system is responsible for up to 30 percent of all. Of the greenhouse gases, around a third of the population on the planet is responsible for 1.2 trillion dollars in food waste and food loss, and over 600 million people receive foodborne illnesses every single year. We know so much about the cars we drive, the speed we drive, the fuel we use, when to change the oil, than we do. About the one vehicle that we've been driving around for the last few thousand years, the human body. How much do we really understand how food affects our human vehicles differently? What if we could create a dashboard for the human body, where we'd never have to worry about the status of our health? With food, where it can personalize itself to us to make us. Better, diseases like diabetes, cancer, and heart diseases, and many more, would be a decision to have, rather than a stroke of fate. Instead of searching for the perfect meal, the perfect meal would find you, by connecting to your gut microbiome and physical attributes, aligned with your lifestyle standards, and meeting your health goals. So we took action. And we created Chewbase, an online platform providing meal kits created by food influencers to make shopping contextually sustainable. Our meal kits become smarter as learning algorithms begin to understand each and every individual in their ecological and nutritional makeup. Food products from grocery retailers begin to sync to your gut bacteria. As our food retail partnerships grow around the world, anywhere you travel, food in that country will connect to you, so you never have to worry about translating what you eat. You keep your standards of sustainability and health. We develop smart meal kits that analyze your health and your kitchen's inventory, so that you could never have to lose food waste. Friends and family. Would pair together their kitchens to form a meal. Food becomes more alive, seeking its own purpose for us and our sustainability. Sustainability should be desirable, rather than offering a discounted ingredient. It's more attractive to offer a sustainable meal at a reduced cost. Placing more food products around a discounted product. May seem counterintuitive, but in the context of a meal, it becomes more desirable, especially when the current ingredients 
is taken in a context of what you have at home. We believe sustainable solutions should be really simple for everyone, placing a finish line in a path that consumers take every single day. And with the tools to track everything that you've ever eaten, direct notifications of food recalls will be something that helps each and every one understand what they eat. You'll be able to understand how your food is your medicine, connecting your food to your gut bacteria. We'll have the ability to make informed decisions about what we eat, and our health will no longer be an issue. Our microbiome is just as unique as every single fingerprint. We all can't share the same eating habits. The food choices that are your medicine may be another person's poison, which is why microbiome testing is so important and fundamental on a long-term level. It's important for us to involve our healthcare system, and this is one of the things that we've done: is try to make it really simple for everyone to do long-term microbiome testing, to create a human dashboard for the body so that everyone can truly understand what's going on with them, to be able to predict and mitigate health issues before diseases develop. We have to come together and unify our data as a collective. Our vision. Is to be able to trace back diseases to certain ingredients that were consumed, which could be caused by cancerous pesticides in certain foods sold by certain supermarkets. We want to grow and evolve the diversity of our microbes inside us and around us, so everyone has the potential to become the best version of themselves through the way that they choose to eat. For real sustainability. We don't just need transparency; we need action-oriented solutions that are driven by a weak economy of influencers. We can create more diversity within the food chain, in our bodies, and in our natural surroundings by eating the right nutrition. We can give life to the biodiversity of the microbes in our oceans, environment, and internal ecosystems by bridging the gap. Between us and our planet, channeling our true potential, food lets us know that we matter, and it's the one thing that connects us and sustains life all over the planet. How we make decisions over food choices today affects the future and the outcome of our well-being. Our bodies are the solution to the ecosystems, to health and sustainability. We can solve many issues by eating our way out of it. We can create a network that empowers us, that makes us more powerful and sustainable within our health system, and we'll see a remarkable difference on the entire planet. We can no longer argue that we're different from the planet because we are the planet. So remember, every time you put food in your mouth, follow your gut. You just might save the world. Thank you.